or your parents were probably Christians and they were probably into God and you saw them being hypocrites and they didn't. So if you go watch the rest of that video, you'll see that during this debate between an apologist and a fellow agnostic atheist here, the Christian just goes on this long rant, this long tirade that just doesn't stop, full of accusation. Oh, well, your pastor must have did you wrong, or oh, your parents must have been hypocrites, or oh, you must not know how to read the Bible. Oh, listing on and on all these subjective, emotional, unsubstantiated character assaults and assassinations on this guy without knowing anything about his actual life or experience or reasoning for leaving the faith. I can tell you with certainty though, after having these conversations with thousands of Christians over the last year or two online, that this is actually the default response of most of them. But why is it really that you can hand them objective truths, logical and rational arguments, show them actual historical or literary proof texts that demonstrate those huge flaws with their religion. Why is it that when you do that, they respond with all these emotional arguments about why you made your decision to leave the faith? You wanna know why they're doing it? I'll tell you the secret. It's because they're projecting. It's because they've made their decision emotionally about what they're choosing to have blind faith in or put their money and energy into and they're making emotional decisions, so they are going to assume automatically that, that you're doing the same thing. You couldn't have possibly made your decision using your brain. It must have been because your heart is broken. Trust me when I say, when Christians start arguing with you like that, chalk that up in the win column and move on. If they had something meaningful and valuable theologically or historically to say, they would have probably said it. So, yeah.